Good morning. It's Friday, March the 12th. <clears throat> Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm, he has won for himself the victory. Let your loving kindness be my comfort, as you have promised to your servant. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. I will confess you among the peoples, O Lord. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is greater than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Jesus said, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. In truth, I tell you, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke is to disappear from the law until all its purpose is achieved. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Turn from evil and do good, and dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice. He does not forsake his faithful ones. They shall be kept safe forever, but the offspring of the wicked shall be destroyed. The righteous shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and their tongue speaks what is right. The law of their God is in their heart, and their footsteps shall not falter. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Let me seek the Lord while he may be found. I will call upon his name while he is near. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant that I, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear my cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power <clears throat> that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. <clears throat> 